celebrities are going through a lot. <laughs> and you see, the funniest thing is that part of the lot they are going through is from their family. Just like what Mikel Obi said in this video. And it's not only celebrities so, that these things are happening. As long as you get small money for family, as long as you have little money like this in a family, before you know, if that money is not finished, nobody will want to rest. Listen to Mikel Obi. It's not your money. Yeah. It's not just it's your the money. the same. You know what I mean? It's not just your money. Like you have all these relatives, cousins, whatever you call it. You didn't know. Yeah. Mm. You know, and your sisters, they go off and they get married to some guy, you know, who just wants to get married to, in, to John Obi Mikhail's family because mm. then my life is sorted. Mm. And then you start looking after this guy, you know, and uh, you send money to your sister. The money goes to him. You know, he, he does whatever he does with it. But these are the things that nobody know about. Your money is not your money. So you get a salary. Now I'm going to put this aside for this person, put that aside for this person, put that aside for my mom and dad. Before you know it, you're looking at them, what, what, where is it? You're on less than them. Exactly. <laughs> you're getting less than them. And they keep having so many kids and so many kids. And, you know, and you're looking at, okay, you're having this much kids. Who's going to look after them? Hmm. It's you. They look up. They look up to you to look after the kids, the the you know the husband and the husband's family. It becomes really absolutely. Crazy. But that's the culture, though, isn't it? That like is the, culture, the culture that they're expected to, you to do that. They're expecting to do that. For them, you owe them that, hmm. and you think it. Hold on a minute. I don't owe you anything, but no, you do owe them that. I was talking to Victor Sime the other day, and he also had the same. He was he spoke about the same thing, hmm. you know, on you know on the pod, the problems he's having right now with his family, with his sister and with his family so these are the things that you know so you sometimes you have to be strong and say you know what guys enough is enough i don't care when was that moment you said you oh felt you for got me that enough. moment came i think i think about five years ago raw so uh, yeah, yeah five years ago i was like you know what fuck it no mm. no more because i've been doing this since i started playing football what's you know? the reaction are you the enemy oh, the reaction you become the bad guy mm. so they stop answering your phone calls they don't want to call you because they used to call in you not to check up on you to know how you doing no it's about what are you giving me because i remember my agent got, uh, back then was like mikhail i'm telling you you're gonna re you're gonna regret you're gonna come to a time where you're gonna re you're gonna say you know what why did i do all that it's like stop because everything i was getting back then you know i was Given so much to the family because you're on so much as well, you think it's not hurting you. <laughs> <laughs> true, isn't it? Yeah, I mean, he was like, Mikhail, no, you can't be doing this. You killing, you killing yourself, or you killing them, because all you do is keep giving, and they, and they got so comfortable that they expect you to do that for the rest of your life. Mm -hmm. And it comes to a point, and I, I came to that point five years ago, whereby I was like, you know what, guys, I don't care what you say, because then they they, they give you this thing whereby. If you don't do it, we're gonna go to the press. Oh wow, man! What did you have that conversation? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You thinking your brother, your family, your, your family? What? After all, I've done for you guys, but this happens a lot to all the players. A lot of the players in, in, in Africa. I'm telling you, not everybody comes out and speak about it. we because we we because we're thinking how are we gonna talk about this. But this is something that people don't know. Mm. You get threatened by your own blood. A lot of young African players that are mm. coming up now, mm. they need to be told this story because mm. they will go through similar situations. So they need to find, they need to know how to deal with this. Mm. It's okay to give, especially when you've done so much and you've set everybody up. Okay, what is it you want to do? I want to do this. Hey, okay, here you go, do that. Mm. And after 10 years, you stay coming back. Mm.